Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. I can't start off this year wrong. If you like this video online, then please like it in real life. <laughs> you thought I'd forget it, I would bring it into next year, but I did. I just did that. Hi guys, so it is 2018. I'm so excited for this year. 2017 to be finally over with. Let me tell you. I don't know, I don't think it's just me because I feel like some people have said this now that 2017 was a really bad year. It was, it was a joke of a year. I just have this feeling that 2018 is going to be a really, 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 really good year. So I was really excited for it to come. And now it's here, and here is my first video of 2018. Yeah. I did want to also mention as well, as I said before, that I'm going to start branching out into stuff that isn't so makeup-y and is a bit more, I wouldn't even say lifestyle-y, but some, um, a bit more, some more stuff with my son, stuff involving motherhood. Obviously, I'm not going to shove it all down your throats. You don't need to click on it and watch it if you don't want to. No, I was thinking it would be funny to uh, Tinder with you guys. I think it would be fun to swipe with you guys and see who we match and like, I just think it would be funny, okay? It would be fun, just for fun. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do with you guys this year, so please, if you haven't already subscribed, then you should subscribe because it's a bit rude for you to watch my video and not subscribe, don't you think? Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for next year. We've got so many things to do next year. There's so many things I want to talk about with you guys next year. This this year is going to be the year of me opening up on another level. And I know you guys may have felt like I've opened up already, and I have to an extent, but not to the extent I would like to open up. Um, so this year is gonna it's gonna be the year of awakening, the year of doors opening. What better way to start it than to start off with my best of beauty 2017? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm also gonna mention stuff that I really didn't like, that people really did like this year, that I just didn't I, I didn't like it. Um so let's get into it, shall we? So 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 for number one in my Best of Beauty 2017 is the Soph palette by Makeup Revolution. So this is by Soph Does Nails on YouTube um, and it's a highlighter palette. But there is a very good arrangement of colours here. This, I, I as, as you guys know, I'm a freelance makeup artist. So I like to have palettes that have everything in it so I don't have to have carry around six different little highlighters I've got it all in one palette and this is perfect this color here looks so lovely on dark skin girls and the lightest color here and this purple work really nice on paler girls as well um, as you can see and they're so pigmented you can use them as eyeshadow I don't but these highlighters are amazing and I love using this one on myself and on my inner corners so I thought this deserves a shout out because it is really good I really like it I've got the oh yeah everything that I'm mentioning today I have on my face as well so uh, yes I don't know if you can see my highlights kind of popping yeah that was Sophie okay Next, next, next. Okay, I've liked this for quite a few years. I stopped, as you guys know, I don't like to set my foundation with powder because I feel like it looks quite cakey. There's only like three powders that I have found in my lifetime that don't look cakey and this is one of them. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder being the other one and then the Bourjois Healthy Mix Setting Powder being the third one. But I can't find that. I was going to include that as well but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Anyway, this is the Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Press Powder by Soap and & Glory and it is... Okay, I've bring out the broken one. I've got quite a few of them. It's broken. But it's a yellow setting powder and it sets my foundation so beautifully it smooths out the skin as well which i find is it's quite difficult to do with powders usually powders usually accentuate all your lumps and bumps and crevices but this smooths it all out and makes it look nice and smooth so yeah like Next, this has been a beauty fave of 2017. Uh, did I buy it in 2016? No, it was 2017. I don't know if I bought it in 2017 or 16. But these are the Stila, um, what are they called? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And oh my gosh, when it comes to, not just for myself, like it makes putting on glitter lids much more quicker, but even with my clients, when they want a glitter lid, this is just, it's, 
it's just so easy it's so easy no no glue no glitter no mess no fallout just swipe it on their eyelids and you're good to go and it sticks so like i don't know i can't describe it so when you put on glitter you put on glue and then you put the glitter on top right but you have to tell your clients to keep their eyes shut because if they open it while it's drying they'll get glitter stuck up here and after it's dry, when they open it, glitter will fall down. And there will be some sort of a mess. It's very difficult to keep it very sharp. With this, I just tell my clients to keep their eyes shut until it's completely dry. And this will not budge. It stays sharp. It doesn't... Let me see if this is dried yet. Okay, no, this hasn't dried. I was trying to smudge it to show you that it doesn't budge when it dries. But it hasn't dried, so it's smudged. So it looks like I'm lying. So let me just wait for this to dry. Yeah, so as you can see, it is not budging. If you're someone that really likes to wear glitter lids often, or if you're a makeup artist, this is just, it's just amazing. It's just, I've never seen a glitter come in this form before, and I'm surprised no more, there's no dupes that have come out. And guys, if anyone knows of any, like, liquid glitter eye thingies like this, I don't even know what they're called because they're in their own little category. If anyone knows, like, dupes or anyone, any other companies that have come out with these, please let me know because Stila is expensive as hell and this doesn't actually last that long so I would like to have a glitter a liquid glitter version that was cheaper so if you guys know already please let me know hook a bitch up so next this has been this is what's really changed my contouring game if you guys know I like to contour with powder I've just always found it easy and I've always found with the cream contour colours that the colours aren't exactly perfect to me they'll be a bit too cool and it'll look like I have like a five o'clock shadow while I'm hiding a beard um so yeah, it just didn't, it didn't work for me. But I was in Bobbi Brown and I just saw, this is a, it's a foundation stick, okay? And it's in the color, almond is it? Golden Almond, 6.75. And I saw it and I was like, you could really contour me, but keep me warm. This could be a new discovery for me. And it was, <laughs> oh my gosh. I love Bobbi Brown's foundation sticks anyway because they're so, Easy, easy to blend, so easy to blend. I don't think you understand. When it comes to cream, cream can either be really difficult to blend or like super easy. And this is like super easy to blend. So it's like perfect for contouring. You can never over contour, if that makes sense. You can never put too much on because it can be blended out. And yeah, this has just changed my contouring game completely. If you're a chocolate chip cookie like me, then I would highly recommend this for contouring because of the warm, it's, it's warm. But it's cool at the same time. I cannot describe it, but it is. It's just warm and cool at the same time. It doesn't make sense. Let me swatch it for you so you can just see how smoothly it comes off. But can you see, it's not it's not cool, but it's not completely warm either. It's not red. It's got like a yellow undertone. I think that's why it works perfect for me because I have a yellow undertone. So a yellow undertone contour would work really perfect for me. And I'm talking loads and I'm talking really fast. So I'm going to stop and skip to the next one. Yes. This has probably been my most favourite discovery of the year. I feel like this has changed my life. I feel like I'm going down a new route in life now. I've become a new person. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, everyone was going on about this for ages, alright? I understand that. And everyone was like, when I put it in my favourites, everyone was like, uh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Where have you been under a rock? But no, okay, I thought it, I thought it was really thick and heavy, but it's not. It's just full coverage, but it's very light. It reminds me of the Mayb Maybelline Instant Eye Eraser, which, as you guys know, is my favourite drugstore concealer and was my favourite concealer of all time. But obviously now Tarte Shape Tape has come in and they've topped it off. And I've heard through the grapevine that they might be coming out with foundation and... <coughs> I'm very excited. Let me just say in in the least, I am extremely excited and I cannot wait for this foundation to come out because if it's any good as this, then I'm set for life. That's it. I'm a new person. Changed woman. I should change my name and everything. Yeah, I've got two more palettes and then we're on to the fails. So this is by I Love Makeup and it's a chocolate elixir palette and I mentioned it like literally in a favourites just the other day and the reason this is my favourite is just for one colour. Um, so as you guys know, I love the chocolate semi-sweet Too Faced Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette because of the colour peanut butter. However, in this palette we have a colour that looks exactly like peanut butter, which means that it's much more cheaper for me. And I actually this one's a bit more orange compared to the other one, and I actually prefer it to be a bit more orange. Um, so yeah, I like this whole palette, and I'll buy this whole palette for this one colour, and that's why I'm bringing it up. My last favourite of the year 
<laughs> and then we're going into sales. And then we're completely done with 2017 and all of my videos are gonna be 2018 again. This year's gonna be a good year, guys. I'm telling you, for you too and for me. Was last year a good year for you or was it a really bad year? Because I feel like everyone it was a bad year, but if it was a really good year, Congratulations, <laughs> you're one of the few. Um, but this year is going to be a good year, guys. I can feel it in my bones, okay? I hope you guys can too. Right, so this is by Makeup Revolution London, and I literally bought this like two months ago when all the Christmas stuff started coming into Superdrug and Boots and stuff like that. And yeah, it caught my eye. As I said, I'm a freelance makeup artist. Makeup Revolution is really affordable, they have a really good range, and is really, really good quality. A lot of the... Have the hiccups. Perfect time to get the hiccups, Rachel. A lot of their products, I actually prefer to high-end products, if that makes sense. So they have a highlighter palette, which I absolutely love, and it's not even the... This one I absolutely love, like this is like above all, but there's other ones as well that are really, really good and I'll pick their highlighters over big brand highlighters any day. Um, so yeah, their products are really good is what I'm trying to get to anyway. Um, but anyway, they came out with this palette and as you can see, we've got like four contour colours, a bronzer, three highlight colours, a whole load of blushes and then a whole load of highlighters. The only thing I have to complain about is that the contour colours don't go deep enough for what I would like because yeah I think but this palette when I have Caucasian clients and then even Asian clients when they're quite fair this palette I will bring with me and I'm good to go I'm, I'm set to go I don't need to bring no blushes I don't need to bring no highlighters or bronzers or contours because it's all within one palette and this palette was really affordable let me swatch you guys the stuff so you can see it's just not like a whole because I know sometimes when you see with these big palettes that have the big pans usually the product if it's cheap it's not really that good but it's just the fact that there's a range but the product itself is not that good of a standard but that's not the case with these guys oh my gosh no I don't want to get on my top okay let me bronze a bronze let me swatch a very pale highlighter so it shows so you can see it properly okay there's one there's two there's three okay where am i swatching you um mm, mm, mm. we're going here can you see guys very very pigmented even the bronzer obviously it's not dark enough for me but it's they're all very pigmented they blend out really nicely they've got a really nice range of blush color colors there um yeah so yeah, that, 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 that was a really good, I was very happy with that purchase. Okay, so now we're going on to the fails of the year. So these two were released in 2017, hence why we're discussing it. I don't even need to disclose that, that doesn't even make sense. Anyway, so the first one, I when I first saw about the launch, you guys know I love warm eyeshadows. I really, really like warm eyeshadows, um, and it's now become a trend. Yeah, Tarte came out with a palette for the warm colours, I've forgotten what it's called, and also um, Urban Decay did, the Naked Heat palette. I absolutely love the packaging. I'll, I'll give you that one, okay? I'll give you just about that, but... The colours, they look amazing. The shimmers, they're not really that pigmented, so you can't really do much with them. And they're not really shimmers that I would um, use anyway, so I only bought them for like the warm transition colours. Um, and yeah, like, how can I describe it? The colours are so very similar in colour that you can use different colours on your eye, but they seem to just blend in together and become very muddy. And I would like to say that I am a blending connoisseur, so when it comes to blending, I know that's one thing I know what I'm doing, so it doesn't end up muddy for me. But with this, it's very, very unavoidable. I mean, it would be good if you just use one colour from the palette, like today I used that colour in my crease with like different other palettes, but you could never use this whole palette to create a whole look because it will end up just looking very, very muddy. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm just really disappointed because if I just wanted one colour, I would have just bought one colour, you know what I mean? So yeah, that just did not work for me. Okay, and so lastly, the so Too Faced came out with a palette to uh, finish, com commiserate, com commemorate, commiserate, commemorate, consummate? No, that's definitely not the word. I don't know what the word is, but Too Faced came out with a palette to mark the end of the year. And they did best year ever 2018. And as much as I agree that it's going to be the best year ever, this is definitely not the palette to commiserate with it. To why do I keep on saying commiserate? Is that even a word? 
Okay, this this palette does not work. Let me just say, it comes with a diary, okay? And I thought it was going to, hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on, let me get my diary. So I'll start off with what came with it to make sense for everything, okay? So, but I'm not going to lie. The main reason I bought this palette was because I wanted the diary, being a makeup artist, and then having a diary that's like, wake up, make up, and repeat, like, I don't know, it just feels more, it just, it feels like it was for me, you know? Um, so I expected it to be a good, a good quality diary, let me just say. Um, and the, the thing that the diary comes in is great. Um, when you open it up, there's a little mirror, there's all this little crap, and then you have the diary. This is where the disappointment begins. This diary, we have one page of stickers. That's lovely stuff, great stuff, Too Faced, amazing. Um, but then this diary, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is completely paper and it is very, very thin. Um, it's just not at a standard that I would expect. I thought I'd be able to use this as a real diary and I've tried to, as you can see I've wrote stuff down, but it's just very, it's very flimsy, like it can just, the whole thing can just, it's just paper, it's paper, two-faced, you tricked me. I thought I was buying myself a real diary. I still gotta get a diary now. So anyway, the palette that actually came with it, which is actually what we should really be talking about, The Best Year Ever by Too Faced, and it looks like a little book, opens up like this, and these are the shades. Can you see? It might be too light. Um, so let me just start off by saying the shimmer shades are crap. They're not really that pigmented, even with Fix Plus, they're just not very, very bright. They're not, br well, they're not bright enough to my standards anyway. So, just scrap all of the shimmer shades and let's just look at the matte shades here. So we have two browns, two, oh no, that's shimmer, a beige, and two purples, um, and the pink. Let me start off by saying, I know for the fact, for a fact, the pink was not pigmented, um, because that was the first colour I tried to use. Um, the only colour out of the whole of this palette that I actually use is Coffee First, and it's a brown colour. But I have so many brown colours in palettes, that I'm not just hunting through my palette drawers to be like, let me pick, pick out this crap palette to use the one brown in there that I have in basically every other eyeshadow palette that is known to man. So, for that, it's a waste of time. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. We did it. We did it. We did it. I filmed it. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I look forward to spending the rest of two, well, not the rest, yeah, the rest. There's only been one day so far. Well, I look forward to spending the 362 days with you this year. Um, <laughs> I'm very hyper and I have been since New Year's because I'm feeling very, very positive. I hope you guys enjoyed 2017. Happy New Year, happy Christmas. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited for this year um, and I will see you. But yeah, so please subscribe, like, comment, share, everything you can do with this video, please do it. And I will see you in my next video, bye.